In this video, I'm going to guide you how we can easily use Todoist for project management and also as a productivity tool. The first thing that you want to do is just click here, get started. Now, if you already own the account, guys, completely skip this step. So I will just write here email, sign up with the email. You can, of course, sign with the Gmail, Facebook or Apple. You will have also a link down below in the description if you want to click on the Todoist registration, sign up with the email. Here, I'm going to add a name. So I will add Marcus Stonelius and password. And you can also keep me logged in, have it uh, marked up, sign up now. And now pick your theme. You can have with a dark one or neutral or tangerine. I'm going to have the basic one only because I think that with the dark, it's much harder for you to read on the monitor. So I will have the white one. But my recommendation would definitely have a dark. So open my Todoist. And here we go. So Todoist is really simple tool. First thing first, I'm going to show you the interface, like what you can actually find in Todoist. We will go to settings and then we will start with creating projects and tasks. What do you say about that? Now, the first thing that what you can do is to, on the top left, open menu and close it. Then you're going to have the go to home view where you would find uh, today tasks. So when I'm in upcoming, I can click on the next to the close menu home view. And this is the home view. Then on a top right, we would find quick to add task by adding a queue. So when you would click on a queue, you would automatically add it. Then this is something called the productivity where you would could add a karma and your goals what you want to achieve. Then on the top right, you would find notifications. And then on the top right, again, you would find next to it, your own name. And let's, uh, we will jump straight away to settings in a moment. I want to show you what you can find on the left side on the left menu. And then we will go to settings. First thing first on the inbox, you can simply add a tasks here. Then you have today, upcoming what is happening. So we will be creating like on 1st September tomorrow a task and we would find it right here. Then we're going to see the projects as a welcome board. Try boards, we'll be creating a new project. I will show you how we can move them, delete them and everything. We're going to use labels right here and also filters. Now let's go to the top right to settings. So I'm going to click on the top right under the name and email settings. And here on the account, you can manage the account and upgrade it. Then you can change your profile picture. You can change your email and password and you can delete account right here. Under the account is going to be general. You're going to see the language here, the home view. So this is something when we clicked on a home view, you would see that we were on a day. But what you can do is you can have a home view of your project. So directly, you don't have to do a lot of clicks. So let's say that I'm going to have a welcome project as a home view update. So let's imagine I'm going to click on the home view now. See, I'm directly in the welcome, not on a today. So this is really perfect thing. So let's go to top right again. I'm going to click on the settings general, and I'm going to change the home view to today again. You can change the time zone the time format, date, date format, and also when your week actually starts. And weekend is Saturday. Automatically recognize due dates when typing a task, I would have it on. Then advanced, auto accept invites. So wait a second, I will just go here today, update. Advanced, auto accept invites. And you can also preview early versions of new feature before anyone else. On subscription, you can upgrade it if you want to. Themes, uh, these are the themes and pro themes that you can use. Of course, they have the dark one. That's why my recommendation to definitely have, um, primarily if you're gonna work in a, early in the morning like I do or um, in the evening. So like right now it's 5.47 a.m. because I really like to work uh, in the morning. So I use dark for everything. Productivity tool. So you're going to see the to do is karma here. Celebrating your progress goes a long way toward, towards achieving long-term success. Today's karma, you can have it on or off. 
achieve new levels by earning points for completing tasks, reaching your daily and weekly goals and using advanced features like recurring due, due, due dates. So this is something that you can have like daily tasks are five that you're going to have. And you're going to have more karma, the more tasks you're going to uh, accomplish. You're going to see also the days off. So let's say daily tasks, weekly tasks, that means 30. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, Sunday are off. You can have also vacation mode. So this is how we can use uh, the karma and set it up. Then you're going to see the reminders here. And uh, for reminders, you need to upgrade your account and notifications. So you can set up your notifications here. Of course, you can have the backups here and integrations that you can integrate it like with the Google Calendar and other calendars if you want to. So this is pretty much it, how we can use the settings and how the interface works. Let's start now how we can add a simple project and then I will show you how we can add tasks, everything. So I would click here on the project on a plus right here. Now I'm going to add in the name YouTube channel. You choose yours and then I got to see the color here. So let's say I'm going to use the magenta. And now you can have the default view if it's going to be a board or a list. Of course, you can switch between the board and the list here. So, but I will have a list for this one. I can add it to my favorites if I want to. And click add. Voila, here we are. So now's the question, what you can do with the project? You can simply go to top right and you're going to see the comments here for a project. You can share it with other people and you can invite collaborators for this project or you can sort it by a due date, priority, sort, custom sort, whatever. Then you're going to see also three dots here and you can view it as a board. I will show you how it works. You can add a section for when you're going to have a Kanban board. It's like in progress finished. You can import it from template, export it. You can also duplicate the project. You can email tasks to this project, project calendar feed, or show completed tasks and archive and delete the project. So let's go now and let me show you how you can easily add a task. So I'm going to click here, add a task. Here, I'm going to add YouTube channels, YouTube SEO. Description is going to be, okay, for this YouTube SEO, I need to hmm, 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 optimize YouTube videos for search on YouTube and I can schedule it. So what I can do, I can have it today, tomorrow, this weekend, next week, or I can have it Wednesday first, tomorrow. So that's how you can do it. You can also add a time here. So let's say this is going to be 13. And I could simply click add 1st September like this. I can select a project to which this is going to be in. Then as you can see, I can add labels right here that we are going to create. So I can create a label straight away. I will create it here so I can go and write YouTube videos. This would be my label. And you, as you can see in the moment when I created the label, it's right here. Then I can set the priority if it's going to be priority one, which is the most important priority two, priority three or four. Let's say this is going to be priority two. And then I can add a reminder. Of course, for adding a reminder, you need to upgrade your account. So let's click here, add a task. Voila, this is how our task looks like. And let's open it. So now I'm going to open it. And what I can do, I can simply add a subtasks. So let's say for the YouTube SEO, what I need to, I need to update description. And this is how the subtasks works. So let's say the YouTube SEO, that's like how we can optimize it for uh, YouTube. So it's going to be easier to search. So I need to update description for videos and I can add a task. The subtasks work exactly the same way as the tasks. So I would click here, add a task, update description. Then I would go also and write here, uh, create new titles for existing videos. And what I can do, I can add a task. 
voila, here we have two subtasks. I can add a comments here and see the activity, what was actually happening on this main task. So here we got it and we got a perfect subtasks and tasks. What I can do now, let's say this is going to be a new task, YouTube description. No, YouTube script. Again, I can schedule it for, let's say, Friday. And I can again add a label, YouTube videos. Add a task. And voila, as you can see, let's change the priority here on the, on the right side to blue. And what I can do now, in this next part, I'm going to show you how we can easily uh, see the Kanban view and how we can work. Kanban view. So I would go to top right, click the three dots. Here, I would view as a board. And now, let's set up the sections here, as I mentioned. So I would click here, add a section, in progress. And then I would add different section, which would be uh, finished. And what I could do is simply have a YouTube SEO in progress, CE. And this is when I would go to the top right, more project actions and use it as a list. I can see that in progress, we have our free one task and two subtasks for the main task. So when I would go to the top right again on the three dots, view as a board, and then I can go, let's say this one is finished. So what I could do is simply click on this blue um, like circle and have it as a finished. One task completed. So I can easily use it as a list and I don't see the finished one because I have it as a finished. So this is how you can work with the boards and you can add whatever you want to your boards. That's completely up to you. Now, as you can see, when I would go to the right, I can see show completed tasks and these are my completed tasks. And what I can do is unclick it and right now it's just in a finished, but when I'm going to click it again, it's right back. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. Of course, we can duplicate the project, a project calendar feed and everything. Now, the next step that I'm going to show you is how we can um, understand the, like the calendar and also labels and work with the project. Now, if you can have any questions about the Kanban view, or you can have any questions about how we can add the tasks, how we can work with the sections, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help and provide you some feedback and guidance. Now, first thing first, when I would click here on a inbox, I can simply add a tasks here. This is the inbox that I can add. It will be in an inbox. Let's say this would be uh, my, what I have to buy or what I have to do today. In this regard, it's really perfect to use it this way. So inbox is perfect in this regard. Then I get to see today. So what I have to do today or upcoming. So let's say that I'm going to have in my YouTube channel at a task, YouTube video, and then I'm going to have it on today. I can't really see it right now. So I need to click on a here schedule 31st of August. And then I would click on a today and I can see it right here. So this is what I have to do today. And for this regard, having uh, to do is really perfect. So this is what I have to do today. And then I got to see also upcoming and upcoming. I see that for today I have to do this video. And for tomorrow, I have to do YouTube SEO. I need to optimize YouTube videos for search on YouTube. And you can also simply add tasks based on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I can simply click add task here and I'll write a task here. So that's how we can do it. Now, when I go further, I got to click on labels here and click on label, label name. And let's say YouTube channel. And I can have a label color of violet and click add. 
And now when I'm going to have a new task here, that I would click here, let's say like this one here. And you can, the one thing that I really like that you can create tasks for a, like sub task for a sub tasks. So with sub tasks, sub tasks, sub tasks, I can have a label YouTube channel and I can simply add a sub task right here. that this is going to be YouTube SEO one, two, three, add a task and look at this. Now I get a C2 and for these subtasks, I have different subtasks. And for this subtask, this is like inception of a subtasks. You can create subtasks under subtasks under subtasks, which is amazing, right? So this is pretty much it how we do it. And in that way, it's quite amazing. So yeah, you can also use filters here. Filter name. Uh, let's say you can have like assigned to me or priority one. Filter name YouTube. YouTube and filter color and the filter query isn't quite right and you need to like edit it so query for today's focus on the most important things you need today query today or one view tags they're waiting on something else for them to be completed and you can create filters like these the last thing I want to show you is how we can work with karma so we'll go to the top right. You can add a quick task right here. And you can always just simply change the inbox to a project. So let's say that I want to do some kind of video. I would have an uh, inbox right here. I would go to the top right, quick to add a task. And I can read every uh, day part three. So add it right here. And when I'm going to click on a karma, I would see the productivity tool what I have to do and how I have to do it. So um, this is pretty much it, how you do it. So thank you very much guys for watching. How you would find all the karma. If you can have any questions about Todoist, how we can use Todoist and uh, what you can achieve with the Todoist, let me down below in the comments. This was a Todoist tutorial, Todoist beginner's guide. A Todoist for the beginners, Todoist tutorial, Todoist for newbies, Todoist, how to use, how to use Todoist, Todoist 2022-2021, Todoist. And yeah, I have to like tell it many times only because the YouTube will only then see it as like important. You know how it goes, you know how it works. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.